Hey guys, this is Echo Soundworks with a mini tutorial course for XFR Records Serum, where we're going to be checking out how you can start to wrap your head around the wavetable editor inside of the synth. So this first part of the little course is going to be focusing on just some background information about wavetables, because without that, it becomes uh, this subject might be a little unclear. So a wavetable is nothing more than a bunch of snapshots, frames, or cycles of audio. Certain developers or, com or companies will use different terminology, but I'm going to call them frames in this video. And a wavetable can be either one frame of audio or it can be a lot of frames of audio. Serum specifically allows you to use up to 256 separate frames to make up any wavetable. Now you might be thinking, oh cool, Maybe every wavetable should have 256 frames in it. That's not the case. A lot of the coolest sounding wavetables only have anywhere from 1 to 25 frames to 64. You don't have to max them out at 256. It really depends on the type of sound you're going for. The more digital, kind of crazy sounds might be better to use more frames. With dubstep and genres that you're going to be modulating the wavetail position, might also be a little bit better to have more frames in your wavetable. But if you're just going to go with like a super saw type sound, you don't need a whole lot of frames. You might be thinking, why am I saying that word so much? Well, I'm gonna show you what I mean by a frame here. So I have a preset loaded up and it's a weird one. All right, it's like a weird sound design base, but I have this loaded up for a reason. You'll see here in oscillator A, that if we look at the waterfall or three-dimensional view of this wavetable, you can see that there's a lot of information, right? And if I cycle through this wavetable position knob, pay attention to this little box here at the number. It starts at one and goes all the way to 256. Well, that is showing you visually not only how many frames are in this wavetable, it's this little yellow indicator line is showing you what frame it rests on. So pay attention to this shape right here this yellow shape, just take a mental snapshot of it. And now when I click views, this is the single frame view of that actual frame. Now if I move this to where we get a different shape, so this is a little bit more square on this end, right? More kind of sinusoidal on the beginning of the wavetail position at the end, there's some more square. Well, if I click on this, there's the square. So you have two different views in Serum. You can look at the three dimensional view or you can look at the single frame view uh, it just might help to look at when you're modulating, look at this three-dimensional view, but when you're doing edits and fine tweaks and things like that, maybe the single cycle or single frame view is helpful. But you can see here that oscillator B is a direct contrast to oscillator A. It's just one frame. And do you know how I know that? There's no information here in this three-dimensional box. And when you cycle through your wavetail position, you get no change. So this is just a saw wave table or a saw wave in oscillator B. Well, it's helpful sometimes to blend a very advanced or, or multi-framed wavetable with a more simple one. So let's look at how you can actually get into starting to edit and build your own wavetables using Serum's wavetable editor.